On this episode of Breakdown, I'll give you a tour of my entire workspace setup, newly designed for 2020. What's up guys, Miguel Quilas here, and today I'm gonna give you a tour of my newly designed workspace. If you're like me, you probably spend a good amount of time in front of your computer working on edits, updating websites, and all of the other stuff that comes with being a photographer. I designed this space to help me work efficiently while making it a fun area to work. With that in mind, I'm gonna share my entire photography and video editing setup, including all of the gadgets that help me get stuff done. I'll be adding affiliate links for pretty much everything that you're gonna see in this video. So if you're interested in more details or on any of the specific items, be sure to check those out. If you buy something from there, it won't cost you anything extra, but it does pay me a small commission that I use to bring you more content. For today's video, I'm gonna break things up into a few categories. First, we'll talk about the furniture setup, then move on to lighting, my PC setup, and finally miscellaneous accessories. Let's get started by taking a look at the chair that I'm sitting on for the majority of the time that I'm in this room working. And that is the Forma GT gaming chair made by Main Gear. I chose this chair after owning several ergonomic office chairs that all put a beating on my back. The Forma GT comes with cushions for your lower back and for your head to rest on all of which are very comfortable when sitting at your desk for long periods of time. I added these cushions that I picked up separately on Amazon and I'd highly recommend them as they add an additional layer of comfort for your elbows to rest on. All of this comes together to make for not only a comfortable place to sit, but one that is ergonomic and keeps my posture on point. This chair is highly rated on Amazon, and in this case, I'd say that the overall positive reviews about it were spot on. Taking a look now at my desk, I'm currently using the Scarsta Sit and Stand Desk from Ikea. I'm sure you probably already know or have read that sitting at your desk for hours and hours each day really does a number on your body. So having the option to adjust the desk is really, really important. I try to change up my desk every couple of hours and it's as easy as rotating this crank handle to get the desk to your desired height. The tabletop has plenty of room for me to use a large 32 inch monitor along with everything else that we'll go over momentarily. Since it doesn't feature any kind of storage like a traditional desk, I decided to add on the Alex tabletop drawer unit. It matches nicely with the desk and gives me two drawers where I can quickly access any additional equipment that I want to keep nearby. Aside from the desk, I have an Alex five drawer unit from Ikea. As you might imagine, I've got a lot of gear that needs a home and this drawer unit not only gives me another spot to stash stuff, but it also gives me an additional surface to keep things off of my desk and allow me to be more efficient. Since we're talking about efficiency, one of the things that I've struggled with in 2019 was remembering all of the passwords for the various websites that I visit on a daily basis. Sometimes I would forget them and I would end up getting locked out of the site or I'd have to wait to reset the password, all of which took away valuable time that I could be using to get other stuff done. That's why I use Dashlane, which happens to be the sponsor for today's video. Dashlane is a mobile and desktop app that gives you a shortcut for everything that you do online. It saves all of your passwords, credit card info, and personal information safely and securely in one place, making the internet a one-click autofill experience. The free version allows you to manage up to 50 passwords and autofill all of your personal information on your favorite device. Check out the app that has over 1 million downloads and over 50,000 five-star reviews for yourself today by clicking the link in the description for this video. After you try the free version, head back over to this video and let me know in the comment section how you're enjoying it. Let's get back to our tour. If you didn't already notice, I am a huge fan of RGB lighting. We get a lot of gray overcast days here in New Jersey, which really makes sitting at a desk working a bit depressing. 
Knowing this, I decided to add a variety of lights that I can cycle through and optimize my lighting situation no matter the time of day. My main light that I've been using for a few months now is this desk lamp from BenQ. They sent me this lamp to test out and review several months ago, and after testing it out nearly every day, I gotta say that I've really, really enjoyed it. The lamp has a flicker-free LED that makes spending long hours working in front of a computer a lot easier on my eyes. The design allows it to light up my workspace nicely, not to mention that the light itself looks really nice. You could easily adjust the color temperature and brightness using the dial on top, and you could easily turn it off and on with just a touch. I could go on and on about this light, but if you wanna learn more specifics about it, just check out the link in the description. To go along with my main work light, I added some accent lights around the room to make things fun. Behind me on the wall, you'll notice this LED design, which are actually nano leaf panels that change color and they can react to sound or music that you're playing in the room. You could control them via an app or this sweet little remote. You could program various lighting scenes in the app and switch quickly between them by rotating the remote. I absolutely love the look of this entire setup and they can definitely become a conversation piece in your room. Behind the monitor, I have two Philips Hue Play light bars, which can change color and light up the space behind my monitor. Pairing these lights up with the Nanoleaf lights gives you some pretty awesome looks. The RGB madness doesn't end there. As we move into my PC setup, you'll notice that many of the peripherals that I have also have RGB lights. I decided to go with Corsair products, starting with my keyboard. This is the Corsair K68 RGB keyboard. On top of having this beautiful lighting, the keys are really nice and tactile, allowing me to type super fast and effectively. For my mouse, I have the Corsair Dark Core wireless mouse that's sitting on their RGB mouse pad. Then I put all of that on top of another larger mouse pad to keep everything from sliding around. Over on the left side of my desk, I have the Corsair RGB headphone stand to finish off the RGB light array on my desk. It has two USB ports that I can quickly access if I need to plug in any accessories and a headphone jack. I use this stand to hold up my favorite headphones, which are the SteelSeries Arctis Pro wireless gaming headset. I've tried a variety of wireless gaming headsets, and this one by far was the most comfortable one for me to wear. It works with rechargeable batteries, two of which are included. One of them goes into the headset and the other charges in the controller, so you always have a full charge ready to go whenever you need it. This headset is what I use when I'm working late and I don't want to disturb everyone in the house, but for those days where I want to fill up the room with sound, I use this 200 watt home theater speaker system from Logitech. The system is highly rated on Amazon with a four and a half star rating over 7,300 reviews, most of which agreeing that it has a great sound quality for the money. They are nice and small, yet they give you a nice deep sound thanks to the included subwoofer. Now this is one of the things that I still get a ton of questions about, and that is what computer do I use? For the last 15 years, I've used custom built machines, most of which I've built on my own, but this one is by far the most advanced one that I have ever owned. This Windows 10 PC has an Intel Core i9 7960 Extreme CPU running at 2.8 gigahertz, 128 gigs of RAM, over 40 terabytes of built-in storage, and two terabytes of M.2 NVMe solid state drives, all of which runs my programs and OS. For my graphics card, I chose the MSI GeForce GTX 1080 Ti Gaming X, which at the time I purchased it, it was one of the best reviewed high performance graphics cards. Now, there are a lot of newer graphics cards out there on the market right now, but this machine runs pretty much everything that I throw at it without breaking a sweat. So I'll probably stick with it until I see it start to slow down at some point. I've got all of this inside a monster sized Thermaltake View 71 glass computer case. It gives plenty of room for all of the components and the liquid cooling system while looking great. Again, if you wanna know exactly what went into this machine, I'm gonna link everything in the description for this video. 
I'll also recommend updated items for anything that I'm using that has uh, been discontinued in case you wanna set out and build your own machine. Now let's take a look at the monitor. I'm using the BenQ SW320 for all of my photography and videography work. It's a great monitor that I already did a full video on. So if you wanna learn more specifics about it, I'll leave a link for that video in the card above. After years of use, this still displays all of my content beautifully, and maybe once I get a bigger desk, I'll probably add a second one. Now, let's take a look at the other items on my desk. Over the holidays, I picked up this wireless phone charger from Anchor. I used to have my USB-C cable plugged into the wall, but it would oftentimes fall behind the desk, so I wanted to have a more permanent type of fixture that wouldn't move so easily, and this did the trick. On the other side of the table, I have the Google Nest Hub. I use Google Home for everything, including my cameras, my locks, my lights, and all of that can be controlled from this device. Since my office is on the second floor of my house, I use the hub to display my front door camera so I can keep an eye out for any deliveries that might be coming in. On top of my PC, I have a Sony SD, an XQD card reader, and a portable rugged 12 terabyte hard drive, also from Sony, that I can use to transport my files from my home to my studio. Now, a photographer's desk wouldn't be complete without having a graphics tablet, so I use a small Wacom Intuos Pro. While it does have a bit of a learning curve in the beginning, I really can't imagine my retouching being any good without it. The size is perfect for my desk and it allows me to move the mouse from one side of the screen to the other without having large surface areas to travel. I'm sure that they have newer models out there, but this one has treated me well for many years and it still looks pretty good despite traveling cross country. This setup has been my favorite one to work with, but I'm a little bit curious. What items do you guys have in your space that you absolutely love? Let me know in the comment section as I'll likely do an update to all of the stuff that you just saw within the next four to six months. If you enjoyed watching this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel as I have new content coming out very soon. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.